Hey guys, welcome back to the legend of Donkey Kong, the island frozen in time. And we're up to the water temple, it would seem. <laughs> Alright, no, this episode, we've got two different water levels, both which are actually play very differently. Anyway, our first one here is a Miss Abyss. Now, so this level sort of similar to, um... Um, alright, well I'm getting hit already apparently, <laughs> and I missed the coin. We're off to a smashing start. Um, yeah, so it's similar to, like, maybe, there's a level in Donkey Kong Country 2, where it's dark underwater, and in number 3. Wow, I just died. <laughs> I'm the best player of all time. <laughs> oh, that gives me an opportunity to check to the left. Nope, nothing to the left. Oh, ne well, <laughs> that time I just completely missed him. Wow, I'm I'm just so good at this game. No, anyway though, but ah, uh, so the the gimmick of this level is you got these fish, right? You spin these fish. It actually is really sort of like that level in Donkey Kong Country Three. Three in that game, you have to um stab these fish with your um swordfish, but um yeah, there's none of that in this game. Now this level, can you see the letter here? There's a letter on screen right now. Can you see it? the K. It's hidden right here. It's probably one of the most hidden letters in the game. Like, you probably missed that. Anyway, though, so, do you guys remember my complaints about, um, see, there's bananas here. Uh, the, 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 about water levels in the previous episode? Well, this level, it's like, this level isn't bad in that regard. Like, it doesn't actually have, like, you know, you don't have to, like, click, collect all these, like, hidden bananas to get any puzzle pieces, I don't think. Oh, hi, giant fish. <laughs> Thanks for clearing the way. But this level, what this level does has, does has, <laughs> it has toilet paper. Um, well, what, what I'm trying to say is uh, that it's dark, so you can't see much, right? So you have to, hit, like, these, I could barely see these bananas up here. But like I said in the previous episode, how is anyone to know that, like, you don't have to collect, like, all these really obscurely hidden bananas to get a puzzle piece. So like, you see this clam right here. I could like bust my ass off trying to get this clam. And it's just a couple of bananas. Well, that, that's actually not, that's not what I'm talking about actually. Because that was obvious that was there. What I'm talking about is hidden stuff like up there. Uh, over here is actually something you do need to get. But this is like properly hidden, sort of. And I'm about to die. Get the breath, get the breath, get the breath. Oh, it's... <laughs> It is just so subtle. I really wish the breath meter, like if they had to had it, which they didn't, just get rid of it and the game would have been already better. But couldn't they have at least put it above like DK's head or something? Like what was so wrong with doing that? Oh well. Uh, well there is something up there, but I need to... I need to die. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, I was playing a bit of uh, Crash Bandicoot before this, and... <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool <laughs> if um you had to like play the levels without dying like in that game? Well, that's what hard mode's for. <laughs> nah, but uh, <laughs> you really do kind of appreciate like because games back in the early days did some weird stuff, didn't they? And you know this game, everything's sort of by the books, but I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, I don't know. Like it could. Like, the difficulty is to the side. Like, it has ma made your difficulty if you want it. Which is how it should be, I suppose. Hmm, but then again, a lot of people complained about when Dark Souls 2 had, like, an easier difficulty. I mean, that'd be sort of like if, um... Now, well, that was... Yeah, but that was Puzzle Piece number 2 out of 9. We're already, like, you know, m a lot... F I hate... Diddy sucks underwater. It's like, why would you ever want... Like, it's the boost of speed. You're gonna run into something. <laughs> oh, speaking of running into something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and anyway, I'm um, difficulty. <laughs> so it's sort of like, uh... <laughs> like, if, if Donkey Kong, like, was only on hard mode, would it be, like, cool to like it because of how, how hard it is? Man, I don't know about that, though. Uh, is there anything around here? Well, yeah, there's this... Oh, there, there's, I, was, I thought that was a banana coin. Nope, it was a puzzle piece. Pretty easy to miss, I do say. Uh, nothing, well, there's, yeah, there's some bananas in this seaweed, and while it's good, I'm, I know, see, I know none, if you get all these, it doesn't spawn anything, but how, well, I mean, it might spawn something, but it sure doesn't spawn a puzzle piece. 
anyway, that's the last time I'll talk about that. So I don't... I'm not sure if these jellyfish show up in another level. See, there's all this stuff, like, right on this left side here. There's all these, like, bananas. Don't need to get any of that, which is good, I guess. Hmm. You know, I would say it's a bad thing, but at the same time, they they were sort of self-aware, like... Like, what I mean is they didn't hide any puzzle pieces in, like, these obscure, like, bananas. So, in a way, it's not really that bad. Because even during your first playthrough of this, you might, you know, you'll probably miss a ton of hidden secret bananas or whatever, but you might still be able to get all the puzzle pieces just because, you know, none of them are that hidden like a lot of the bananas are, which is sort of cool in a way. Yeah, a lot of levels have, um, like, you know, they have hidden areas that are just like maybe a couple coins or a couple banana bunches. I'm actually, there is a reason I'm getting all these. There's another puzzle piece. <laughs> I find, I do find this level kind of funny, you know, there's like none at the start, but then there's just like tons of puzzle pieces because, you know, there is nine. Uh, now, here is, all right, I'm just going to pause this because I got to explain this. Like, okay, this game has some really good design, but this part, like right here, is one of the worst design things in any video game I've ever played. I'm not kidding. You see this thing here, you have to spin it to open this path, but there's like two jellyfish right in front of it. If you spin, your path is locked, so you're almost guaranteed to run into at least one of these guys. Unless you're me, because I'm awesome. <laughs> no, but like, pretty much every time I play through this level, I will get hit there. Except for then, which um kind of makes my accusation lose meaning, eh? Oh, that's just a torch. I thought it was like a puzzle. I mean, not a puzzle piece, but like a banana bunch or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, alright, so we're just gonna pretend I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> oh, that's a puzzle Yeah, so another puzzle piece. Six out of nine. When's the next puzzle piece gonna show? Actually, I think <laughs> I'm like making like a joke, but I actually think the next... Yeah, it's literally right there. <laughs> they really are like right next to each other in this level. <laughs> you think nine was a bit overkill? Yeah, see that... Seeing that this level has nine puzzle pieces in it, it might actually like freak someone out because they might go, oh well, oh, I have to check everywhere because there's probably like a ton of hidden ones, but there's there isn't any. Can you actually not? Yeah, okay, you actually cannot trigger these fish. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, I got hit there like an idiot. <laughs> what a shame. So why don't I just put the puzzle piece there? Like, why do I have to like wank around getting all these like small bananas? Oh, well, it's not that bad, I suppose. This is kind of, I don't know. I think it's kind of silly. <laughs> Ooh, I was about to lose all my air there. Now, what's, um... I'm just thinking, what's Diddy's, um... You know, when you press the L, let's just do it. I think it's coins, isn't it? No, he's his lives. Okay, you know, you know, that super valuable thing. Eight out of nine. Yep, that's what we want. Because, even though the end's right there, this is one of those levels that has something past it in the form of a bonus. Now, what is this? What is this? A new bonus type! Hallelujah! And this one's actually pretty much like that other new bonus type. This one's also pretty interesting. Hmm, you know, maybe... Maybe they were trying to... You know, they were withholding bonus types because they were keeping the harder bonus types for later in the game. Because, like, maybe people who suck at the game will, like, have a harder time at bonuses, unlike me, who's, like, amazing. <laughs> Alright, so that was that level. Um, I got through it pretty easily here, but um, during my pr practice playthrough, I died like so many times. And I don't even care about getting the DK anymore. <laughs> Alright, but let's move on to the next level. So this next level, um, like I said at the start of this episode, both of these water levels are very different. Now, I actually kind of like this one. I rate 8 out of 9. Too much water. It's actually like 8.2 out of 10, but whatever. I, I, was, I didn't even plan that joke. It just kind of came. Oh, I liked it. I liked how they hit that like um, spear down when I entered. That was pretty cool. Doesn't it look like maybe like up there to the top left? Like that's something I'd throw like a barrel at to break or something. I don't know. Banana crates. Why are they just like suspended there? Like what use would those crates be like suspended there? Man, I don't know. So this might seem like obvious, like, oh, climb up the rope to get to a bonus, but <laughs> no, I actually, um, during my original playthrough of this game, I remember I missed this. <laughs> and we got this bonus type again. 
So this bonus type, I, I can't put my finger on it, but I just really like this bonus type because it seems like every time I play it, I always do it differently. Like, I, I usually do that first part the same. Now, well, you see, that time, I did do it differently. I lost. <laughs> and I can't just go back in. No, I gotta kill myself, but I'm, like, right at the start, so I guess I'll just enter and exit. It's like, why not? <laughs> Alright, bonus attempt number two. As I was saying when I before I died, though, usually at the start, I'll always do it like this. You know, you get this perfect part where you just kind of get up the top. And once you get to here, it sort of, like, changes. Like, I'll maybe jump down there or go all the way down to the bottom. Then I'll come up here, and then I'll, like, wall. okay. So, <laughs> doing this is something different. I don't think I've done this before. Having to get back up to the top like this. And then I can just drop straight down to the puzzle piece. How nifty. So, yeah, yeah, I sort of like that one. That's probably my favorite. But that's not saying much. Bonuses suck. <laughs> so, <laughs> picking a favorite isn't that hard. I just, um, I had to shut up there because I love that. It starts off as like a kind of... Oh, it's still going actually. Yeah, it starts off as a weird remix of, um... The aquatic ambience, but then... Is it still going? Oh, I got Dixie, nice. Yeah, there we go. Now it switches to, um... Lo um Lock Jaws Locker, I think it's called, from the Donkey Kong Country 2 music. And I love that. It's such a smooth transition. Like, oh, David Wise, you fucking, you lovely bastard. Oh, I didn't actually get that to explode. Come on, explode, you. There we go. And much like um, those porcupine dudes, not porcupine, um, puffer fish from Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, you can't touch the parts that explode off of them. This is pretty hidden here, isn't it? Like, you have to kind of be paying attention to see if there's a hole there or not. I think this this level actually has so many puzzle pieces hidden like that, and when I say so many, I mean like three, <laughs> because it only has five in it. Uh, I don't think I need to collect this guy, but let's do it anyway. What you got for me? Yep, just a banana bunch. That's pretty tame. This is a unique enemy type. You know, seeing fish like this almost almost makes me want to be riding on on and on and uh, uh, the swordfish <laughs> on guard. It's like a, it's like a French word, but the, I don't think the spelling actually has the accent on the E on it, so wouldn't it technically be pronounced en garde instead of on guard? Man, I don't know. I guess that's up to, um... <laughs> See, isn't that like... That's not really a thing anymore, is it? Um, because in a lot of old games, you know, a lot of stuff was text only. So, like, people, you know, pronounce things differently. Oh, here we go. Here well, I'm just going to keep talking about what I was talking about, because you're not a very interesting uh, guy, you know, that giant octopus. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, because a lot of games... Oh, shit, yeah, it's right here. God, that is so easy to miss. Just... Oh, and I have to be right... Yeah, I have to be running here, by the way. Well, <laughs> swimming fast, I should say, because that ink will kill me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I pretty much... Um... Me <laughs> I pretty much completed talking about that subject, like, video games have voice acting nowadays, so you can't really pronounce something wrong if you hear how it's pronounced. But somehow, people still manage to screw that up in a couple occasions. Alright, uh... Yeah, that's not the last we'll see of Mr. Octopussy here. Look at him, he's looking at us. <laughs> Man, if only this was 3D, you know, I could just, like, spin into his eye and probably, like, kill him. And that would really hurt because it's his eye, and people don't like being stabbed in the eye. As far as I'm concerned, uh, do I need that shell down there? Uh, yeah, let's get that. I don't think it's anything, but you know I got to get it anyway. Yeah, it was just banana. Whoop de do. Get through there. That was kind of weird. Oh man. Oh well. Just go. Just fly past it now. Dixie wouldn't start swimming. Oh well, he's a heart to recover that. Now, this is pretty damn obvious, like, they're not even trying to hide this one, I mean, if it didn't have the glow, I don't think it'd be that obvious, but since it has, like, that orange glow, it's like, duh, duh, I think there might be bonus here, or so, or maybe, I don't know. You know, I actually sort of like this bonus, too, because this bonus, god, you can clear, oh, shit, oh, man, 
Good thing I had Dixie there, because I thought I... I didn't see that single one. I thought I had all of them, so I was going for the puzzle piece, and I would have died had I not used Dixie's, um... Well, recovery. And I probably... If I had Diddy, I would have died too, because he doesn't recover you as much as, uh... Dixie does. Just a little, you know, just a little hidden thing. No puzzle piece, but you want to get it anyway, because... Finding secrets just makes you feel good, you know? That was something the original Donkey Kong Country's captured too, even though those games only had like two bonuses per level. And a DK coin. I don't think I need those ones down there either, so we'll just, I'll bypass that. <laughs> I don't think you need to come up to where any of these checkpoints are, but I just like, sort of like doing it anyway, just to make sure. Alright, and as I get in this barrel, I think we're back to... Yeah, here it is, Octopus Chase. Now, don't, if you don't want if you don't want to get rid of Dixie, don't touch that barrel, because it's like never Dixie. Get this G here. Yeah, you gotta have Dixie, because otherwise you'd have to be spinning. And you like because Dixie can make you swim fast, but you can still change your direction, whereas um if you were spinning, like you don't have as good handling. Which uh oh whoa, man, I I just dodged that. Oh damn it, ah, this is like sort of the thing I don't like. Oh, I think I actually might have missed it because I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, there it is. Nope, -dee nope, I'm not missing this. You can barely see that. It's like bullshit. You pretty much have to be using squawks, although uh, I don't think I had to be using squawks to find that, so I must be good. Gee, we're almost at the good thing we're almost at the end because I'm like dead. And here we go, just uh, ding, 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 boom, 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 and he's dead. Just three nice hits, and let's time this. Let's fail to time this. Well, you know, <laughs> didn't get it last time, so no DK this episode. I don't know, even though it's really hard to get out of the way of the falling debris because your turning circle is so crap, it's still sort of fun because it's just a real, you know, reaction time sort of thing. And which I, you know, I like. I like, like, Battle Toads or whatever. Now, um, 4, 5, C, Stack Attack. What an interesting name. But we're in, we are not going to that next time, because we're going back to... Man, I have to, like, go all the way around. <laughs> we're going back to 4A, Rock and Relics next time, which, um, I don't actually remember this level. So that must mean it's really good. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.